Yeah, what's good everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K21 video. We are currently three days into the video game being out, and I have a lot to talk about. Okay, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but once you're done watching this video, you are going to be in tune with current gen NBA 2K21. So go ahead, grab whatever you need to eat, go ahead, sit down, get down your notepad. Get your Twitter fingers ready because I got so much to go over. Let's hop into the video. Oh, don't forget, hit that like button. 5,000 likes is the goal. Thanks. So welcome to the video. Um, basically today I wanted to go over a whole bunch of things that I've learned about NBA 2K21. And the first thing is that nothing is as it seems. With NBA 2K21, a lot of people were already writing it off because they didn't want to play a current gen game, mainly because they thought that it would play exactly like NBA 2K20. They would not have fun. They would not want to grind. And we're all waiting for next gen. Like I told you guys in my last video, basically, if you're waiting for next gen, you are kind of losing out because you've already lost um, an extra 100k VC with the pre-order of the Froby Mamba edition for PS4 or Xbox One, and you would have got another 100k once um, the next gen consoles come out. Now, of course, we don't know the release date. There are no prices for the next gen console, so there is that. But um, let's talk about the game for a moment. When I launched NBA 2K21 for the first time, which was on September 3rd, I noticed that the menu was a little bit more clean cut, not a whole lot going on in the design area, but I was able to get to the features, turn off the music because don't nobody like copyrights that are creators. And it was pretty simple, straightforward, created my player, went into the my career storyline and had a ball. Now, within the nine hours that I streamed the actual game, I played the entire prelude, every college game and made it to the league actually play park and other modes as well to try things out now what i noticed in the prelude was that my player basically had a pretty subjective storyline because mainly it was about a high school kid that lost his father going into college with one of his um long lost i guess father's friends or teammates wanting to manage him along the way and get his career on the right track um, getting into relationships and friendships, um, a little bit of toxicity, but at the same time, it ended up um, ending in a, you know, a separation of sorts, because, of course, the storyline cuts off once you get to the NBA. So everyone that you met prior to the NBA, besides Archie, which is the person that uh, manages you, besides one of the female uh, managers, that was really about it. Um, your father. You didn't hear too much about besides him being one of the greatest in the hood. You never heard about your mother at all. And the funny thing is, you actually heard more about a family storyline with the people that were supposed to be your managers because they wanted to relate to you and tell you their life stories. But it was insane how I didn't really know anything about my life story. So that was here nor there. But as far as the gameplay goes, um, a lot of people was saying, you know, during the stream that um, you know, you need to up the difficulty and, you know, and stuff like that. And I always, always come back to that. You know, I have one issue that I always have with people in the comment section. They always want you to play on the hardest difficulty, yet they are not playing on the hardest difficulty, nor will they ever in their life think about playing on the hardest difficulty. So anybody that's inside the chat, if you talk about the hardest difficulty to me, I want to see your stats. I want to see your screenshots. I want to see your clips. I want to see your achievement list. Okay. I don't care about your little comment. Talk about, oh, you playing on this difficulty uh, uh, versus that. It doesn't matter. Our main goal is to go online on 2K, play up against other people and win. Also have fun with your friends. Now let's backtrack a little bit. So once I got done with my nine hour stream, I still played the video game. And I was playing twos, I was playing threes, I was recording footage. Um, me, Chase Money played uh, with Ken. Also me and Raunchy ran twos. You guys have seen that 2v2 video. Hopefully if you haven't, it's in the link above. 
and as well i played with trey and chase and you know we also played a pro-am game um well i'm sorry a rec center game not pro-am because you know how y'all sweaty pro-am players be thinking um we've also done a lot of like just walking around roman seeing how the new uh world works and we noticed one super crazy thing it lags like hell out here um the the amount of lag that we suffered was unbearable we went into the rec center and got delayed two to five seconds for button input you do not understand unless it happens to you or happened to you you can't possibly understand what we have been through it was bad it was to the point where two people had to quit out of the rec center on an opposing team and our teammate said yo we're just gonna stay and we're gonna deal with it and try our best then we come to the park now i'll show you guys the park a little bit later in this video but basically there are three courts that lag in a park and three courts that do not lag in a park do not go to the top left court at all it's the blue court with the octopus or squid on it or whatever do not go to that court top right randoms court is perfectly fine the two middle courts never go to those courts the little aztec court and a little um we call it uh what money call it earlier i think money called it the blue uh zebra court don't go to those two courts at all you can go to the little bill cosby court because of the the brown and green it looks like a bill cosby sweater you can go to that court you can go to the bottom uh left purple court um you can go to that and you can play on twos twos and those um four, um four uh i'm sorry three courts out of six do not lag but the other three do lag, and it's unbearable it's insane we thought that we were playing against the layers that's how bad the lag is inside the park inside rec center i believe it's 2k21 servers as a whole i believe that it's too much stress they didn't test it out and it's a lot of hot fixes that they need to handle now speaking on hot fixes jump shooting jump shooting was one of those things that needed a hot fix right so if you guys look at this court i don't have many hot zones i have more cold zones than i do hot zones and the reason for this is the simple fact that when the game first came out when i used to stand right here i used to try to hit a jump shot from right here i try my best right i used to try to hit a jump from right here and you just could not hit these shots whatsoever now they have added a nice little buff to shooting especially in my career where it makes things a lot easier to get badges but essentially it's still hard for some people to shoot and i'm sorry that you guys have to go through that because i've been putting little like screenshots out on twitter and stuff like that and 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 making posts and it's that's another thing that i can't stand so many people have so much fuck shit to say i'm sorry to say it i had to say it so many people have so much shit to say about another player but then when you go and scroll down their timeline they're crying they're 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 complaining that something is broken and that they can't hit their shots right so i'm thinking to myself like oh okay so you're just on my post telling me how bad of a player i am and honestly you're just as bad as i am if not worse <laughs> and that just don't make sense to me man like people people are insane you know so that was one thing that um that i just had to get off my chest like you know because it's been a crazy three days you know i i, I streamed nine hours the first day uploaded the video uploaded another video and now that i'm here with this little like update on 2k21 video it's just it's good to just get things off my chest you know what i mean because boy people talk so much now um let me show you guys what build that i'm working with and show you guys all the stats that i have here so um as far as progression goes my player is currently a 92 overall um honestly i have not um played 72 hours straight i actually got some sleep um um if you are sleep deprivated i advise you to just take a nap you know please take a nap for me and my sanity because i don't want to see anything crazy happen to anybody but as far as progression goes for me these are my current stats 
um as you guys know things will go up by one as soon as i hit 95 the cap is 99 but crazy thing this build that i currently have is not the build that i created during the demo the build that i created during the demo was a 6.5 max swing build that would get contact dunks in elite alley oops at 99 overall this build right here won't get it because you won't you 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 won't be able to keep a 99.9 .9 at all with any build i don't think 2k fixed that because this is some, somewhat of a reskin but if it does and i do make it to 99.9 .9, i will be happy with an 85 driving dunk i did want to try my best to be at 85 and 99 so i didn't have to worry about the fluctuation but i, I most likely will have to worry about it now as far as badges goes this build is one of the easiest builds to get badges for mainly because i do play park i do play my career i do go to the um team facility i am a jack of all trades when it comes to nba 2k i don't just stay in one lane i try all different things so as far as my finishing badges go um i have lob city finisher i have slithery finisher and i have contact finisher everything that says finisher on it i wanted it but of course i don't have as many badges so i couldn't get consistent finisher couldn't get fast break finisher and i couldn't get relentless finisher it would have been great to have relentless finisher and consistent finisher as an additive but i want lob city finisher so bad because i want to make sure that my player doesn't do doofy catches and then people throw the ball out of bounds or i miss my alley-oop dunks as far as shooting badges go if you are a shooter you don't have shit to worry about you get 15 plus badges you can do life's work you can go out and be a shooting surgeon if you want to but for my non-shooting builds please get yourself range extender if that's the last thing that you do on this earth for your build make sure that you put range extender on gold because you are not a shooter you guys just saw my rating you seen you seen how terrible that that three-point shooting rating is and you also seen how my midi is get range extender the next thing hot zone hunter if you know where you take good shots at and you are and you have those hot zones please get hot zone hunter i will be having range extender on gold hot zone hunter on gold and i will be having one batch of dead eye okay and i will be swapping these out as i need them i may go um take hot zone hunter off go dead eye on gold and get catch and shoot it all depends on the bills that i'll be playing with as far as my insane playmaking goes these are the current badges that i run for my career only all right this is the bad setup for my career only because i'll be able to stop and go i'll have downhill so i can get away from the defender i have space creator so i can create space and do moving shots yes this bill can do moving shots in my career okay but as far as park goes this is my current bad setup for park if you are a park player and you know for sure that you need to make sure that everything's good with your player this is the optimal setup some people um even though bailout isn't really that needed this year some people would go like this some people will go unpluckable on gold and tight handles honestly i haven't got ripped that much and i haven't passed out a shot out of bounds too many times to the point where i'm scared but this is the optimal setup that works for me um the reason why i run floor general and dimer is because shooting is a patient waiting game as soon as this is all over as soon as the whole shooting woes are over and and i start playing with my friends and they can shoot a whole lot better i most likely will take dimer and floor general off i'll probably go this route right here this will probably be the the most um logical route for me let me see and i have one more i think it is was it bailout i believe it was this yeah so this was going to be most likely my optimal setup for my player so if i crack some of my ankles and i'm driving to the rack i could pass out a shot not get plucked and i can most likely break people's ankles with misdirection and stuff like that as far as my finishing badges i am not done finishing yet as you guys can see here i have 15 out of 20 this is my optimal badge setup for any mode i want clamps on hall of fame i want intimidator on hall of fame even though a lot of people are saying right now intimidator doesn't work because a lot of people just can't shoot there are demons out there you understand me there are demons 
I mean, moving shot demons, aggressive behind the back demons out there that will that will hurt your heart. Okay, moving shot man menace. I, I'm t it's bad out there. So just make sure chase down artists on goal, rim protector on goal, intimidator on Hall of Fame, clamps on Hall of Fame. That is what you need. Right now, I'm working on interceptor. I may go interceptor or I may go hard crusher because I get a lot of lane steals already before this interceptor interceptor badge was gotten. But heart crusher is really good because if I get blocks or steals. I can take down people's takeover. So if I'm if I'm playing against a, a guard that is killing me, he got nine points and he's so close to takeover. And I bump steal him, his takeover go down if I got Heart Crusher on Hall of Fame. So since I got five more to go, I can easily put put uh, four in the Heart Crusher and put one in the Interceptor. Or I could take the two from Interceptor and go pick Dodger if I'm going up against a, a beast that just love holding his nuts for no reason. You know what I'm saying? But that's just that. Um, as far as my stats go, um, a lot of people uh, always want to see a win percentage and all of that. I will say that when I started 2K, of course, the first day of the game, I played with randoms. None of my friends had the game at all on the first day that I had it. I had it on September 3rd, not 4th. So I played with a whole bunch of randoms. And my build was not made for shooting. It was made for slashing and passing and, and uh, defending. So I have 22 losses right now. I'll make up for that. Most likely, I'll probably be at maybe 150 and maybe 25, but hopefully before um before I know it. But yeah, that's that's that. But um, let's go ahead and go out to the park real quick so that um I can show you guys the course that I can't stand as well as some other things. Now, when we get out to the park, there's one thing that I, I never want you guys to do: never take the bus. Okay, if 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 you don't understand what never take the bus means, I never want to see you. Well, you or your squad mates walk over to the bus stop to go get a new park. Okay, do like last year, go inside of the ante up and then come back out to get a new park. Okay, never do that crazy stuff. So I'm gonna tell you guys where the bus stop is real quick, man. This is the place that I never want to ever see any of you come for anything, not even to just sit and chill at never come over here to get a new park because you will blue screen every single time okay <laughs> all right now uh, let me get my animated run back on and of course i am a all-star one um simply because i've been playing some pretty good park games getting pretty good rep um when i run twos um you guys seen our 2v2 game me and raunchy we are both slashers so that means we get to throw oops to each other and get the most amount of rep and and uh destroy people with defense now um let's get an overhead of this park right so this court right here i never play on this court i never play on make sure you guys follow my 2k logo yes i do have a logo yes i'm a youtuber y'all know this um also i play on this court i play on this court heavily okay um mainly because sometimes my, my homie's not on like right now they're not online Chase's sleep, raunchy sleep, everybody getting their sleep in. I never play on this court right here, ever. Okay, never play on that court. And I want you to never play on this court. This court right here, the, the, the blue zebra, that's what we call it, is the most lagging court of them all. It's just on par with the octopus one, but man, it that, that thing lags something serious. All right, now, once you come down here, to the bill cosby court i do play on this court i believe that the bill cosby court and the randoms court up in the top right are the least lagging courts of them all on on any good day and also um i played two games on this purple court before and i didn't experience any lag now let's go over the twos real quick um of course people would think that twos would be the best because it's not too many resources that are being used and you know the games look like they will go good and stuff like that but let me let you understand something if you playing on this court that i'm standing next to right now and that ferris wheel is going crazy oh my goodness it'll be insane man it it, it drives people crazy um also this court as well if you're playing on this court you get a little bit of that ferris wheel the the funny thing is this court is much more laggy than the other one so basically if you're playing on this court you're facing the ferris wheel but if you're playing on this court when it's loading in and you're looking at that cages logo up there you see the lag 
But when you're facing this way in your plan, it's not too many resources being used because it's just dead space over there. Okay. Now, um, let's go ahead and run around real quick and go go somewhere so I can show you guys something else that uh that I noticed. Um, I told you guys about the wreck, which um has that two to five second delay. I won't be playing wreck until they put in a hot fix for it at all. I uh, I, I got my one win. I averaged twenty one and seven inside the wreck, and I'm never going back. Okay. <laughs> never again um also if you brought yourself a hoverboard um on day three after you hit all-star one something's wrong with you man 2k just made you spend 250,000 vc in two days i'm just putting it out there all i'm saying is you know if you spent if you spent a hundred dollars on vc and stuff like that and you and you think you had it and you think you got it and you big time now that's cool and all but they made you spend 250,000 vc and i'm gonna tell you guys what i'm talking about man I'm gonna go ahead and enter wheels and show y'all the price on this nonsense, man. Look at this, bro. First day, first day, two hundred and fifty thousand VC, bro. It makes no. Look at me holding my chin. Why am I holding my chin? Even thinking about this purchase, even contemplating making this purchase. This is out of pocket. I would never. I would never. Okay, never, ever, 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 ever. Now, Jeff's arcade is a uh, is a W. A lot of people do spend a lot of their time in Jeff's uh 2k arcade which is cool um also i want to show you guys um something at the 2k shoe store so basically um what i've been doing is i've been getting some pretty good endorsements i'm actually a starter in my career which is um really really good but um i actually want to check my discount inside of 2k shoes i know that i kept you guys much too long much too far over the um time limit for this video but i just wanted to kick it with you guys and show y'all what i've been doing um also as far as um not progression uh let's go to my player appearance because this is something that always comes up and i always forget to do it um i'm gonna show you guys my animations now i will admit i'm not a dribble guy i just play to get past defenders with one to two or maybe three maximum of moves and that's it um, if you guys look at the jump shot, the jump shot is there. 98 MJ as the current jump shot that I'm using. These are all of everything that I'm using here. Every single thing. Now, if you guys need me to move out of the way, I have no problem with moving out of the way. So, okay, now that I'm out of the way, you guys can go ahead and uh, see all these things. I'm just going to go ahead and go up. You can pause the video as much as you want. Um, these are all my animations, everything that you guys would get if you were like my build and it's just this simple you know what i mean i try my best to make sure that i try to stay in the know of things so i watch a lot of different youtubers all the time um right now i'm just waiting on a couple dribble tutorials from a couple of my favorite people that i like to watch that give dribble tutorials most of the time those guys do do light goals to make up like a dribble tutorial and stuff like that so definitely check out some of the homies and you guys know who they are you know what i mean if you've been in this community from over three to five years you know who some of the best dribblers are out there some of the best shooters out there and i can tell you guys right now i learn a lot from them every year but with that being said i'm going to thank you guys for coming through to this video make sure that you guys hit that like button man it means a lot to me man um whenever that you guys hit that like button it really it really touches my heart also um, shout out to all the new subscribers um we went from like 630,000 subscribers to like 645 almost so we're getting to the 650 mark and i appreciate all the love that you guys showed me man you know what i mean it's not mandatory but it's always appreciated so i'm gonna highlight you guys in the next video man peace